Highway 20 between Bend and Subtle Lake sees the highest amount of wildlife and driver collisions in the state. Matthew Jackson reports on the proposed wildlife passageways. Wildlife passageways allow animals to safely navigate across roadways with the intention of reducing the amount of animal motorist collisions. These crossings come in many different forms, such as this undercrossing built near Sun River. This is an area that has the highest density of wildlife, or excuse me, of deer and elk vehicle collisions in the entire state, with anywhere between 300 and 600 um, deer and elk dying by vehicle strike each year in this corridor. Jeremy Austin is the Wildlands and Water Program Director with Central Oregon Land Watch. They're proposing four overcrossings along Highway 20, the most dangerous part of the highway for animal collisions. You can either retrofit existing infrastructure like bridges and providing passage under an existing bridge. You could do an undercrossing like a large culvert or overcrossings, which is like a bridge for wildlife that goes over the roadway. Behind me is where one of the four potential wildlife overcrossings will be. The overpass for animals will be at mile point 90, 92, 94, and 94.6. I think a lot of people can relate to driving along these more rural sections of roads and being scared about hitting wildlife or actually having collisions and having had that experience. This proposal marks the end of phase one, which studied the 35 miles of Highway 20 between Bend and Subtle Lake. Phase two will involve planning, design, and collaboration with the Oregon Department of Transportation. They do a lot to protect driver safety, but they also help wildlife get across the highway without being struck so it's good for it's a win-win the wildlife passage program leader with odot says oregon already has five crossings in place and they've reduced collisions by 50 percent there's some debate among other states and countries that tend to see better success rate with overcrossings but we've had some pretty good success um, for the mule deer in central oregon using the undercrossings the proposed overcrossing would be funded by state and federal dollars. Central Oregon Land Watch, though, is fundraising with private nonprofits as well as state dollars to, you know, match those federal dollars. Well, great. So how soon should we expect to see these on Highway 20? Well, Central Oregon Land Watch told me it should take about two to five years, anywhere between that time frame. All right. Hopefully that works. Thank you, Matthew.